I'm Ella, and I'm dramatic and problematic. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's Hi guys, and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. So today, <laughs> and it's been a bit, but I'm going to be telling you guys the next part of the Twilight story. There's a lot of tea, and it's been a hot minute since we've talked about Twilight, but we're gonna just dive right in. I'm just gonna be talking kind of about the baseball <laughs> game and what happened after with James because that's what a lot of you guys have been asking for. I was like, I don't want to die. I don't want to like be close to dying. I don't want to be attacked by James. Like, what? <laughs> no thanks. I scripted that his tracking powers don't work out me because like, it's part of my Bella shield. I don't know what to tell you. So I was like, okay. I need to do this at least for the tea, for the drama, for the girlies out there. Like, I can't just be like, no, they're not here. <laughs> Cause like, that's a little bit of a cop out, right? So we we go uh, to play baseball. And to be honest, these people were fucking wild. It was fucking cold. I was like, why the fuck would you want to do this? <laughs> like, I, It was cool to see, it was cool to watch, but if I had to choose what my family was doing for a weekend, I would not choose to go play baseball in this fucking field that's like super muddy and gross and nasty. And it's like super misty all the time. No, thank you. I mean, I understand because they're like vampires, but at the same time, I just, I, no. And so we're just playing whatever. And then like, obviously, these peeps come they're like eyeing us they're like hmm and edward's like trying to play cool but like he he looked tense am i was like it's like hmm, hmm, hmm. but like he was literally like clenching his like jaw so hard i was like they're gonna know like you're literally stupid they're what is wrong with you edward no poker face no nothing but edward was like on edge intense honestly i don't know how we just did not get busted from that because he's just like and like super tense clenching his fucking sharp ass jaw like i i can't even clench my jaw that much because i don't have that power full jaw like him but he was like chomping i don't know how they were just like what the fuck is wrong with this guy florat i met his eye the one time and like he stared at me i think it was like two seconds but it literally felt like he was holding my gaze for like a fucking eternity and after that i was like okay i'm not trying to look at your eyes anymore <laughs> and they're just like going like talking back and forth carlos kind of really and they're like let us play with you like so creepy honestly victoria is kind of cute like i was kind of if she did not want to murder me after that I'd be into her, like, not gonna lie. I turned with Edward and breeze of fucking wind, of course. And he just is like, You brought a little snack. And I'm like, Like, why? It was, it was kind of scary in the moment. It's like, to be married to real life, I, my, my boyfriend had his brother's dog staying in his parents' house where he lives. And that dog, I don't know, was having something against me. And I literally was trying to jump and attack me the whole time I was there. And my boyfriend and his dad were like stuffing the dog. So Edward obviously was like coming in between me and James because like <laughs> he's not gonna let me be like attacked when I was having that situation with my boyfriend. It was reminding me of this and I was like why why do i <laughs> why am i so weird sorry tangent guys you know how i am i wasn't feeling like oh my god i'm gonna die i'm gonna put my pants right now fear it was kind of just like e please like i just don't want this thing to like get close to me <laughs> and they like kind of just backed off and like talked to each other and like they're like you guys need to leave like this is our territory like blah 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 the james guys like looking at me like this basically and well we know he wants to hunt me so like fuck you 
fuck you like literally get a life get a fucking life like you have a girlfriend like why are you obsessed with me spend more time give more attention to your girlfriend instead of obsessing over like my sexy body like i know i'm hot but like you can't have me so chilleroni please so you go back to the car and then we're like mm, you need to leave like he's gonna track you he's gonna find him and it's like hmm. I mean, I'm like, yeah, I'll leave, obviously, because if I stay, he's gonna know I'm here. But he cannot hack me. And he's like, what? Your powers don't work on me, do they? And he's like, huh? I was like, his powers don't work on me either. And he's like, no, 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 no way. And I was like, yes, so we're gonna have to make a plan. We'll talk to Charlie somehow. And like, I'll tell him I'm leaving for a bit. Like, obviously not gonna be that rude to Charlie because I love him. <laughs> and just make up some excuse and then we're gonna go somewhere that he would not expect to find me and you guys can take care of it and like you know and he's like why do you like when do you have the time to come up with this think of this and i was like i'm a fast thinker pragmatic on my feet and he's like narrowing his eyes like hmm i don't believe you and i was like okay don't believe me but do you have a better plan and he's like no and i'm like so if two plus two is four and i was like this is what's happening because he was trying to freak out and be like i'm leaving like we're going somewhere else i'm dating you far away and i'm like no like you're crazy you're crazy my dad's here like what so you know i went i like started packing my stuff in like obviously charlie's like hmm what the fuck are you doing and i was like look i'm going through a really rough time right now like there's a lot of things going that i'm just not ready to talk to you and i just need a little time away i swear i'm gonna be coming back soon i'm gonna see my mom a week <laughs> and i love you so much like you're such a great father i know we haven't been close but i just i need some time and i hope you can understand and he was like really like confused but like i kind of took him off guard because like we're not really open we don't really talk emotions with charlie and i but you know he is really good and i think he deserved to hear that like we hugged and he was like well okay if you're sure but be careful and call me and blah, blah blah and i was like yeah yes of course you know i got back in the car and i started talking to edward and i was like okay you need to get alice and jasper and obviously the rest of your family but i think i should go somewhere with alice because i think she'll be the best one to take care of me you know obviously she would want to bring jasper and then you guys can take care of james however you need to and so he's like oh my god i can't believe like you're so clear-headed right now you know i don't want to be hurt so we need to be pragmatic about this situation you know <laughs> so we went back to his family's house laurent was there and he had that like piercing fucking gaze of his again and then i had to even stare at him longer i was like bruh like, my entire soul was revealed to you. Can't say that I swear it to you. That man knows I should have Like, I don't know. There was, there was just something ethereal there that I can't even explain. <laughs> he's, like, warning us. He's like, he's going to be obsessed with you. This is not going to stop until you're dead or he's dead. And I'm like, and Victoria loves him. So if you kill him. Well, I don't think he said that explicitly, but he implied it. Yeah, Carlisle's like, oh, you guys need to go you need to distract him and and edward tells him like oh i don't think he can track her because like it hasn't been working so far interesting development but the thing is even though it doesn't work on me the tracking still works on edward right so we're like gathering they're like mm, it's gonna be hard to kill james and rosalie's like giving me the sign he's like hmm what if one of us dies because of her <laughs> what then Edward's like rolling his eyes at her. This is really tense at that moment. And I'm like, oh my god. Like, great, great. <laughs> then he's like, I'm gonna take Bella south, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, and he's like, no. He can track you. And he knows that you're not gonna leave Bella. So he's gonna be following you. And I'm like, Alice is gonna take me. And I'm like, yes, thank you, Alice. Thank you so much. So we started driving and you know just road tripping i put some music i was in the front and jasper was in the back like just laid out 
They can't sleep, but he was just like there not saying anything. It was kind of awkward. We like finally got to a hotel and then Alice is seeing visions that like James is tracking Rosalie because she was wearing the coat that was mine and it had my scent on it and so like everything is going according to plan and they're kind of leading him far far from forks so there's like no commotion or anything and then like after a bit like she sees basically james being killed and i don't know much about what happened in that fight but I hear it was a team effort between Rosalie and Edward and honestly, I think Rosalie probably pulled most of the weight. She is incredibly badass. I was like, at the same time, I'm kind of thankful because maybe she does care more than she lets on and, you know, puts a rough front. She took care of me even if she didn't want to. Yeah, I'm sorry if there's no drama of me being in like a dance studio with a bunch of mirrors and almost being murdered. <laughs> and he was killed and I was not in the hospital. Obviously, Charlie was super worried. My mom kept calling me and, and I talked to my mom and she was worried too. And she's like, where are you going? Like, are you going to come see me? Like, what's happening? And yeah, we just ended up going to see my mom and Edward came talked to Charlie and we started saying that we're gonna try and like do something like together it's like fun and not just in the house once a week you know like go bowling I don't fucking know <laughs> like something just together and I don't know I think it's really sweet of him to take that step and you know not every father would do that after that everything was just kind of settled so I actually scripted that for the prom. I would have my own prom dress that I bought in this world. I'll put a picture of it here. And I never got to go to my prom because uh, of COVID. And so I scripted I would have my prom dress and I could be able to wear it to my prom in Twilight with Edward. Like, is that not a dream come true? I literally cried. I said to you guys. And so I wore my super beautiful prom dress and I got my hair done, I got my nails done, my makeup done and I was just so happy and he came and he got me and I had a corsage and so we got to the prom and there were uh, Jessica and Angela and they were so cute, they looked so good in their dresses and technically even though I did script that like it was my prom dress that like I have like we did go prom dress shopping together and I was took pictures with Edward and then I get to took some pictures with them and Jessica did end up going with Mike even though I was like <laughs> advising her against it but like now they're dining and I'm like okay mama pop off I mean I'm not gonna comment on it it's her choice it's her life it's her you know, mistakes to make. <laughs> I was really happy with the dresses they chose because they were not the ones from the movie. <laughs> but it was stuff that actually looked good on them because you think I would let my friends look like that? Like, no thanks. After that, we went out to the gazebo and we were dancing because of course I would have my romantic moment on prom night with Edward because like every girl wants to have that romantic moment with Edward. And I told them, you know, I'm really thankful for what happened and where do you think this is going because at the end of the day you're a vampire and I am human and you know this was just the first issue and at the end of the day I mean I don't mind being older than you because I will be your sugar mama but <laughs> but if we want to be together forever should I not be a vampire like this I don't know I don't know and then he's like, I don't want this for you, like, blah, blah, And I was like, I mean, I understand that, but, like, I, it has to be a further discussion, okay? Like, capiche? And I love you, and I just want to be with you, so, yeah. And he's like, I love you too, I want to be with you, and, yeah, we'll talk about this more. So, yeah, that's my cheesy moment with Edward. <laughs> but, yeah, that was that. I mean, I don't know if you guys want me to do more 
Twilight shifting stories. I mean, that was Twilight. What's the next? What's the second book called? So I guess it's New Moon now. It's New Moon. It's New Moon time, guys. I don't know. <laughs> if you do want me to do I shifted to New Moon, <laughs> I could do that. Let me know. And if you do like this video, don't forget to like and leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts about, you know, this crazy thing. I hope you're having a fantastic morning, afternoon, night, whatever time it is for you. I love you guys. So this is, this is, this is so much. Mwah.